Good morning, boys. I just enjoyed some breakfast, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of blueberry Eggo waffles. It was pretty dang good. And now we're back in the garage, just like yesterday. Same situation, still got the space heater. <laughs> and I still have car problems. So, today there are a couple things on the agenda. First things first, as you guys probably know, my idol is really bad and it like surges. Alright boys, a couple of updates. I've been out here battling with like an idol issue. I'm trying to keep the light out of your face, sorry. I've been out here battling with like an idol issue for like... God, maybe an hour now. I texted the previous owner of the car, sent him a picture because I found a random vacuum line that was just hanging out. I must have knocked it out of its actual position. So I put it back on. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This vacuum line right here, I just plugged it back in. He told me that's where it goes. Also, I took the idle air control valve off. I was like messing with some stuff on that. That didn't seem to help. So hopefully that fixes the idle. So I'm gonna try to fire it up right now. I don't think this will like fix, fix the idle like 100%. There's still something going on here. I just don't want to monkey with it anymore today. I want to get this car running so I can drive it and go get the stuff that I'm supposed to get done today done, which is the exhaust manifold stuff. All right, boys, here we go. I'm gonna start it up. Before it was literally idling at like 50 RPM. So we're gonna see if this indeed did fix it. Okay, that's not promising. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, so I was dumb. I thought that the previous sounder, Tyler, uh, said that it was this white thing that I'm supposed to plug it into. It's actually underneath. I misread what he said. I'm gonna try it one more time and see what happens. That idol is was scary. So I hope to God this fixes it because I don't want these issues anymore. Yes, this is better. I guess I'm just gonna let it get up to running temperature and see what happens here. All right, boys, so now we can finally get to what I actually wanted to do today. Now that the car is actually running, I just went ahead and removed the uh, exhaust manifold, the header. Super easy, just a couple bolts across the top, a couple studs, uh, and just the two down below that connect the uh, collector to the rest of the exhaust. Now it's kind of dark, let's see. I have to... Retap. I have to drill out, retap, helicoil, and whatever to that one, to that one, and to that one. All the rest seem good. Also, I think all of the studs are good as well, but I'm just going to inspect them to make sure. So I'm going to go ahead and drill out the first one. I'm very optimistic about this job. I hope it goes really smoothly. I've never done this before. Let's do it, boys. All right, boys. So first, I'm going to take a smaller drill bit. And I'm going to just see, okay, so it goes this deep. I don't want to over drill this. I think they're all the same, but let's see. That looks about the same, and that looks about the same. So I just don't want to over drill them. This is the correct size drill bit, so I'm going to have to drill it out a little bit here. But that's where I need to go. So I'm just going to mark it right here. And I'm going to go put a piece of tape on this. I'm going to go put a piece of tape on this right here so that I know when to stop. All right, so I was gonna originally use just like a regular drill, like you can see here, um, but I think I'm gonna try to use a right angle drill because I don't think I have enough space. I'm just more familiar with this kind of drill, so I was gonna see if I can make it work, but I think that the right angle drill is gonna be the way to go. I tried, I started drilling a little bit, and it looks like it's going pretty smoothly so far, but I wanna get some compressed air over here so that I can consistently blow this out and get these metal chunks out of the way as I'm drilling. All right, here goes nothing. Looks like I'm getting pretty close. It looks like this has been helicoiled once before, at least a couple of them. Looking good, boys. Next step is to tap this with the included tap from the kit that I bought. I'll show you guys that in a second. So here's the kit that I bought. Uh, fix the thread, OEM, whatever. So we're gonna just go ahead and pop this sucker open. We want this tap. All right, so I gotta tap these three holes right now. So tap these three, put the inserts in, put it all back. The tap is all oiled up, so is the hole. And I'm gonna go ahead and start to create new threads here. This is nerve-wracking. It's 
It's looking like I got some pretty good clean threads going in there. All right, boys, so these holes are now tapped. It is now time to insert the helicoil. Now this came with this kit, it's this little tool, and you put the helicoil on the end. And on the helicoil, hopefully you guys can see, there's a little like slot or notch or whatever that has to line up in here. Then you stick this in, and you begin to thread the helicoil into the new threads that you just created. This is going in a lot easier than I expected it to, to be honest. Nice and easy. And I believe you just go until it stops. So like that's, that's it. That looks pretty dang good boys. Should we test out a bolt? Now the other interesting thing about these helical oils is that if you see this notch, you have to break that notch out. So I need to take a punch, stick it in this hole, tap it with the hammer and break off that little notch. And then I'll blow it out with some compressed air to make that thing fall out. Here goes nothing, I've never done this before, so. All right, I can definitely feel it and, ah, that's it, I guess. Okay, now I just gotta blow it out with some air. And then I'll show you guys the new threads. There it goes. I don't know if you guys were able to see that, but it flew out. And uh, here, check out the new threads. There they are, boys. It's a little bit overblown, but brand new threads. And we can actually we can actually test those threads right now with the bolts to see if they fit. Let's see. Perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and insert the helicoils into these two, and then we will reinstall the header. What comes around is all around. Oh my god, like, I'm just like not in an excited mood right now, but I'm trying to be like YouTube excited to express like how actually excited I am that this worked. Because, boys, this has been haunting me for weeks now. Ever since I found out about this, I was freaking out, and now it's done, and it worked, and I'm, I'm literally so happy, but like, I'm, like I said, I'm just not in an excited mood right now. I'm hungry as hell, I'm tired. Not really tired. No, I'm just hungry as hell. But it worked! So we're done, we're done with this. We're done with this. This is no longer an issue. Frick yeah! Boys, I'm so unbelievably happy that that worked. I know I just said that like a thousand times, but like legit, I'm so happy. Now I guess the only other kinks I have to work out are a small oil leak somewhere. I think it's coming from the oil cooler in the back, on the back side of the motor. A rough idle issue, especially at cold starts, really rough. I gotta figure that out somehow. Also, my coolant is disappearing. I don't know where it's going. I keep Filling up the reservoir tank. This is, I filled it for the second time today. Uh, it's just gone. So I don't know if my head gasket's bad or intake manifold gasket or what it is, but my coolant's disappearing. So I have a feeling it's being burnt off in the motor. And that's pretty much it. And then this thing's basically mint. So I'm really freaking happy. I hope that I can go home and get this video edited really fast so that maybe if I have time, I can do something else or I don't know. Whatever. I need to get some food though, I'm starving. So I guess that's where I'm ending today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a thumbs up. If you did not like the video, get the heck out of here. Also, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing to follow the rest of my vlogmas, to follow the rest of the Civic Build. Also, if you'd like to follow my Instagram, I am being much more active on there lately. It's in the description, check it out. I just don't have time to edit it on the screen and stuff right now. Vlogmas is killing me. So boys, as I always say, 
Remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain those goals. And get your exhaust manifold fixed. Bye!